Fuck me, that scared me to death. <laughs> Good evening. I just turned the wipers on by mistake. <clears throat> My father, stand on the face of the ancient. So I wasn't going to make a video for a little while until I had something, some news for you. But I kind of missed making videos and kind of hope that you might have missed watching my videos. So I'm making a video now to check in with you all and uh, to wish you all well. Uh, sheesh, not a lot is going is going on at the minute, but no news on the van. I've kind of given up on it, as in having a break from thinking about it. I'm still getting lots of people sending me links to things, and it's really nice and that, but it's just filling my head full of noise and um it's the last thing i need right now is any more of that noise so just understand that i have a a longer term plan a longer term plan uh so just give me a few weeks uh and if the plan falls through then i'll go to plan B or plan C or whichever is suitable at the time uh, I have got other things on in my private life away from YouTube and that that are stressful very stressful and very tiring um, but again I'll, 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 I'll let you I'll fill you in on that when 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 I see fit to fill you in on that. I know that that's very cryptic, and I would be annoyed if I was watching this. I'm literally giving you nothing here in this video. Like I'm telling you that I've got things and got plans and got stuff on and that, but I can't tell you what any of it is, which is frustrating. It's frustrating for me as well. So. Uh, you just have to you have to put up with it for now. N normal normal shit posting and 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 uh, videos will resolve shortly. I'm just having a break from van stuff. I've been in the Airbnb now f for two nights. Yeah, I had my second night in the Airbnb. The nights before that, I stayed in another hotel. Um, I've got this Airbnb now for two weeks uh, and I don't really intend on I'm going to go to the van shortly to pick up some stuff from the van that I need but I don't really intend on staying in the van until after the two weeks are up then I made it back in the van but I need to go pick up some stuff I've left some stuff there do you know what's really difficult the most and it's kind of funny but kind of the most irritating thing ever for the last two years, I have had everything I own with me at all times. And yesterday, I was in the Airbnb, and I needed a lighter to light a candle. Didn't have a lighter, because lighters are in my van. Just used to having everything. Uh, chargers for things. They're all usually just with me. Uh, I said to a friend of mine that I was going to go swimming with him. I said, yeah, I'll meet you for a swim. Arranged it and everything, realised I didn't have my swimming stuff because my swimming stuff's in, in 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 my van and I'm not in my van. It's bizarre how like sort of programmed I am at the minute. In fact, that there's a coat. I, it was raining the other day. I was like, oh, I'll, get, I'll put my raincoat on. I can't put my raincoat on because I'm not in my van. I'm 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 a, I'm a hundred miles away from my van, and um, I don't have a raincoat in this bad boy. Um. So yeah, it's been difficult adjusting to not having my van with me. I do miss it. I miss driving it, even if it's a bag of shit to drive. I miss driving that. 
this 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 Igo is an absolute beauty to drive. So easy to drive, literally go kart like. Um, but you can't fit anything in it. You can't fit a bed in the back. You can't fit a cooker and uh, all that in the back. So it's just no good for me. I have I have toyed with the idea of buying a car temporarily. Um, just buying something to drive around in. Um, that was the plan before I got uh, lent this actually was to buy a, a vehicle to drive around in. But it's the, but then it's the hassle of selling that vehicle when you don't need it anymore, paying for insurance, paying for tax, paying for all kinds of extras. Um, and then when you come to sell it, you've got the hassle of selling it, potentially losing money on it. I just didn't end up doing it. So this has been a lifesaver, really. It's saved me so much money. It cost me 35 quid to change the ins to, to add it to the insurance uh, so that that's I think that's free no it's 35 quid 25 quid admin fee and 10 pound a month extra to drive this so so far it's cost me 35 quid which I can't complain about really uh, and the fuel it just it just barely barely uses any so I can't argue. If if I'd bought a car and I bought something with a big engine, no doubt, something fast, and I would have been just chucking money in the fuel tank every every day. The insurance would have been a lot of money. I can't be trusted to buy a sensible car because my idea of sensible is something fast. <laughs> so it's Wednesday. I got another. I've got in the. I can't remember if it was the third night last night, and I can't even remember. Monday night, Tuesday night, yeah, yeah, second night. So I've got another 10 nights. No, 12 nights in the. Fucking, I can't add up today. 12 nights in the Airbnb. The place is beautiful as well, like. Um, it's very small and compact, but it's self contained. It's. Um, very pretty. It's in a nice area. So. I'm settling into it, I just need to sort of get some more stuff from the van and spread out a bit more in it. Uh, I may even take it for longer, it's just expensive, that's the other thing, it's not... The Airbnb is essentially 500 quid for two weeks, which is big, big money. Um, but it's serving a purpose right now, and again, all will be revealed with that um, eventually. This uh, this jock situation. I'm actually sick of hearing about it now. I wasn't going to talk about it in a video, and in fact, I've spoke to Jock this morning and said I'm not going to make a video. I'm not making a specific video about it because I'm not fucking interested in it anymore. Uh, jock, this jock and this bear guy are just behaving like fucking kids, in my opinion. Um, making videos about each other almost on a daily basis, and it is just pathetic. Uh, they're both not they're both telling a version of the truth that they believe is the truth uh, and I don't believe there are much truths being told or at least things have probably been twisted slightly to suit their own argument um, again I have spoke to, I've spoke to Jock this morning actually uh, and, I, and I've told him these things I've advised him that he needs to stop making videos because then this bear guy will stop making videos and then Chuck not have to make any more videos and if Chuck just fucks off YouTube and stops making shitty videos about this feud bear will do exactly the same and um, in given time the truth will come out or, or we'll just all forget about it because it's just because it's just stupid I can understand why both of them feel I've done too I can understand why both of them are um, unhappy with each other but up until yesterday, nobody gave a toss about it again. It was just old news. Then it was all ignited again. And it's going to carry on and carry on and carry on and carry on and carry on. So, that's my input in it. While ever they're both carrying it on, it's only going to carry on. There's no legal action, by the way. Uh, no laws have been broken. 
Nobody's taking anybody to court. Nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing that. It's all just waffle. It's all just fucking verbal diarrhea. Um, again, I can understand why people are pissed off, but it's old news now. Let's just fucking move on from it. Notice how I started swearing a lot more when I'm talking about this topic. Anyway, anybody that wants to message me telling me I'm nasty for calling uh, Jock out, feel free, I'm not bothered. Uh, I was sticking up for my friends and I still believe that what I've said in that video is right and that's why I'm not taking it down. It's a, it's a, it's a warning to people uh, that potentially might have donated to somebody that might not be what he first appeared. Still stands. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not being nasty by saying that. It's my belief. It's my YouTube channel. My video. The video stays. I won't stand for bullies though. People being personal, or uh, even people making stupid accusations that probably also carry no weight. Um, people making fake accounts. That's just bullying. Not having it. Anyway, this was probably the worst video I've made in a long time. If you managed to get to the end. Nice one. I'm almost at the 500th bag of coffee, by the way, to be sold. Um, and when they are, when the 500 bag of coffee is going to be given away, uh, along with uh, some other goodies. So keep an eye out for that. I'll learn. Um, fill you in more details when I get round to doing that thing thanks to everybody that has bought coffee over the last couple of weeks so um, it's been phenomenal uh, how much coffee you've bought and, and the t-shirts as well like the t-shirts are available on liamtheterrible.com uh, and also very soon the boondockers merch is going to be available on my website because I'm trying to help them out with their merch as well so I'm going to be building a my website up a bit so that I'm helping other YouTubers out uh, and obviously that helps me uh, try and earn some money because I'm going to need it believe me so anyway go to liamthetrouble.com check out the merchandise see you all soon bye Felicia